Well, okay, now I'm gonna describe why Friday Night Funking is a god awful game. Is it the worst game I played? Of course not! There is a few positives with this game. Like, for one, it's for free. That is something. And the mods that this game has is the only reason why people still talk about this game or what I've seen in the YouTube recommendation system. Attempting a unique art style and not the god awful realistic graphics I'm starting to become against. And of course, the only reason why I attempted this game no microtransactions whatsoever which is always something I'll respect someone doing. Anyways, let me just focus on the issues I have with this game. The first issue with this game is essentially it is way too goddamn easy. I literally played almost every single song this game's offers in hard difficulty, and I literally passed through almost all of it by messing up constantly. And I have literally not played this game in over a year. To be fair, if you decide to use a WASD controls, which is what the game is mainly controlled by unless you decide to change it like I did, then yes, maybe it can be difficult. Basically, I do not like God of War controls, so I'm gonna literally change it to the ones that are more comfortable, like 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you do that, you remove almost all the challenge of a game. Don't believe me, I'm showing you video proof right now. You wanna remove almost all the challenge of this game aside from two songs. Don't worry, I'll show you. You just basically change the god awful controls I experienced last year, which is WASD, like, as you see here, this right here, up left, right down, used to be WASD, and I changed it to 1, 2, 3, 4. But wait a second, isn't R in the way as a reset? Well, I changed it to M, so that's not a problem anymore. There we go. You completely made almost the entire game easy on hard difficulty. And to show you proof that hard difficulty is easy, what I'm doing right now is change this to hard, and I'm just gonna do the entire song hard. And also, waiting here for 8 to 10 seconds is boring as hell, I don't know why they decided to do it 1 to 2 seconds. So, thank you for free commentary there, I guess, that's the only positive I can say about that. You can see I messed up there, and I'm still somehow- this is supposed to be hard difficulty and I messed up, like, don't worry, I'll get even worse. That's not even difficult. I'm just basically waiting for the song to end because I don't like the OST of this game so much. Finally it ended! God, that is so god and boring! Like, god, this is e this is hard difficulty. Why is it easy? Like, it's one example. How about I show you another one? Where it's more designed to be difficult, I'll give them that, but too bad this bar system is so goddamn merciful for you, where you can keep constantly messing up and you'll literally win. Don't get me wrong, not every song in this is easy. I'm too easy now. See, I messed up so many times there and somehow I'm not dead. Like, seriously, game, I messed up there. Like, look how many times I messed up. How am I not dead? See, messed up, how am I not dead? This is hard difficulty, how am I not dead? Like, I didn't even try there. Never mind, only one song that is kind of difficult for this game. So what is the one song I can say is actually difficult in this game? The only one I can say is difficult and is not too merciful for you. Well, I'll show you right now. Maybe this song won't be less merciful and actually be a challenge, because I'm trying to mess up. Why- why give me that? This is supposed to be difficult. You don't get- Like, yeah, there we go. Finally, one song I can say is difficult for me. And let me remind you, if I only found one of that song difficult by not playing this game for over a goddamn year, then I can clearly tell the difficulty system is completely messed up. Okay then, hard is somehow for most songs easy. So, what about the story mode this game has? Where the hell is the story? Do I need to use my imagination to tell what the hell is going on in this freaking story? Well, I guess I say what story this game has. Essentially, um, this person for some reason wants a girl for some reason, even though there's nothing special about her or anything interesting about that character at all. Where you travel random locations out of nowhere, transport into alternative universes with characters that are literally from nostalgia bait. Like, remember Spooky Month? Remember this random freaking flash game of a school shooter? I am not joking about that. Or the Newgrounds logo? I might have skipped a couple of weeks, but still, the story makes no goddamn sense and it's called story mode. So, am I not supposed to take it seriously? Am I supposed to laugh? Well, the thing is, I thought they were doing this artificial laugh 
language or beep boom 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 but no it's actually proven this freaking main character we have can't even speak the English language is that supposed to be funny well as you can clearly tell I'm not laughing so the other issue the OST the entire point of making a rhythm game good is making sure that the music you're making I can actually enjoy or other people can enjoy well I have not used any of the OST in this music for a reason for me and not others I think this music is just garbage I had to turn off my headphones and put it on mute just to play the game I'll give you an example, I'm playing the main menu theme of this game. Okay, so it's repeating the same lyric over and over and over again. Let me make this audio louder, I am not joking, they were repeating the same lyric over and over and over again for this long. Meanwhile, listening to the tutorial theme, I realize it has lyrics in. Let me play a video game theme that is better than the two I showed you right now. Basically, the only way you're gonna like this music is if you're perfectly fine with a high pitch beep boop ba di di ba. If you enjoy it, congratulations! If you don't enjoy it like me, literally listening to a high pitch noise that does not change no matter what, then I could just mention that you will not like this OST. And still, even if you like this OST, there is way more better OSTs out there I could recommend, like Metal Gear Rising, Witcher 3, Delta Rune, Ace Attorney. Cold of the Lamb, Doom, and Doom Eternal. I can name more if you want, but you get the point. There is way better OSTs out there, even if you like it or not, because I don't know how this game is a big deal, aside from it has a unique art style, and the mods improved almost all the issues I have with the game. But not all the music is bad in this game, I mean, I like the pause menu music, I'll play it right now. Not trying to claim this is the worst OST, I mean, I clearly like the pause menu theme, that's at least something. But overall, basically, if there's a game I prefer with mods, it will be Left 4 Dead 2. Because if I remove the mods in Left 4 Dead 2, there's still an enjoyable game right there that I can replay. Friday Night Funkin' for me has an awful OST, a non-existent story, and the difficulty is broken. And of course, the main control setup they did was go awful, where it is the first game where I had to change the control settings just so I can somewhat play the game. So I'm not a fan of number ratings whatsoever. For me, I'll give this game like a 3 out of 10. Unless week 8 magically improves almost all the issues I have, which I doubt happening, because it's been over a year that week 8 has not happened. So anyways, I'm fading out the video. If you're against me over not liking the game, I did not play for over a year for a reason, and did not download any mods from this game for a reason, then that's why the comments are there, so you can comment down on what you agree or disagree in this video. Anyways, I'm fading out the video.